What's up everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today we're shooting a cocktail powder commercial. And if you never heard of that, it's basically a powder you mix into your drink and you get a good tasting cocktail out of. But let's see for yourself. This is what I came up with. So I broke up this commercial in three parts. First, showing off the product and kind of the ingredients. Second, how you make the cocktail. And third, the hero shot where you present the products and show them off in a good environment. I also wanted to go for a seamless flow when mixing all the ingredients together. And a lot of this stuff is done in post, like lining everything up and then just zooming in, masking out. So a lot of that stuff is done in post-production and there's a lot of detail goes into the post-production workflow that it, it's run so smoothly. But you have to think about it in advance to keep shooting in the right way. So yeah, a lot of planning went into this and I hope you like it and I hope you like the turnout of it. So the video starts off with the bang with the exploding grapefruit and I actually cut up the grapefruit in half and then just pulled it apart and I did that with a fishing line I just attached it to the top part and I just pulled the top part up and then after that I just masked in behind I found this nice explosion from a uh, powder explosion on story blocks and I just masked that in behind when I was pulling them apart and then I just added the packaging from the uh, cocktail powder appearing out of the grapefruit and I just let it rotate a bit I shot that on the lazy Susan here and just let it rotate and give it a nice little bit more flexibility but everything will come together in, in the edit and it's a powerful powerful opening of the video where everything starts off with a bang. So I'm starting off shooting this commercial with uh, this construction here. I put uh, this little package here on the Lazy Susan and I rigged it up on this kind of stand here and that it rotates, sketches can turn it off and then it rotates. And I just want to get the package spinning on the blue background that I can key it out in post and just make it spin on the axes. And I'm lighting the background with the Mix Pad 2 from Nanlite. And the package, you want to have an even look, so no shadows really, because this is like a, a colorful, uh, bright commercial. So I'm using uh, this light and then this little tube light to light it from the top and the bottom on the same side so that I don't get any shadows. And just make it spin on the Lazy Susan here. And how I rigged the package up here is I just put a little needle here and just like stuck it at the back of the package here and then just like turn it on then it just rotates so um just a pretty simple because there's no other way kind of to fix it and obviously then i'm just going to remove that stick here in post and yeah it's a cool technique if you have no really uh mouth point way to rig it it's just like stick a needle into it and that usually works i've done it with food and i'm just doing that with the packaging uh, now and then uh, on this on the second part because the client wanted to see the instruction how the, the cocktail is made and by doing that they just have to rip up the package here and and I just wanted to kind of animate that so I just cut this open already and then put a little tape behind it here and then I'm just using this fishing line to kind of pull it open like this and obviously in post I have to remove the tape here and that just just like pops open and then I just wanted to have like the powder coming out of it and going into the into the glass um, just want to see like how the cocktail is made because it's really simple to make it so I really want to emphasize that in the commercial that it's like easy to make like five steps just quick and easy and you have the perfect cocktail and yeah this is just the first part of the shot and then let's move on to the next one So for the next part of the mixing sequence, it was a little tricky. I wanted to get a way uh, to kind of pour in the <clears throat> alcohol here. And I just wanted to do it in a fun way. So what I did is I again, I attached this fishing line to the lid of this little uh, bottle here. And then I just 
had it up here and I was just like making it that it almost falls off and then I'm just like pulling it and then the alcohol just drops into the glass where the powder already is. And yeah, it's just a little tricky to figure that out how, how that works because like and then I pull and then the lid doesn't come off and it's just like a way to figure out uh, to get everything set up but in the end it worked. <laughs> and the lighting is pretty, uh, the lighting for this, for the making sequence, the lighting stays pretty consistent. Uh, one Nanlite Pebble tube on the bottom here to light up this. Then one Nanlite on the side to give the glass a nice outline on the side here. And then there's um, another soft light hitting the background here to give it a little bit more that light look that I was going for. And then I have this small Pebble tube here rigged up to this little stand and just to light up the glass a little bit. It's just when you like glass, it's always have to be careful for the reflections. So it's just like um, lighting up the ingredients because the powder is in already in there. So I want to see the powder and the glass should also be a little bit brighter. So for the steering shot, I had tried to switch it up a little. I mounted the probe lens on my camera and just got it, got it handheld. And then I just taped uh, to the front of the lens, I taped this little stick here. And then I just went handheld and just went in and then just kind of stir it with the lens attached. And it gives this unique perspective where you're kind of feeling like you're in the steering process. And it's, it's a really cool perspective. And, and just to make it a little bit more nicer, I kind of decorated the set here a little to give it, give it a nice background because you kind of see the stick going into the glass and you see the surroundings. So I wanted to make it a little nicer. And this uh, lens needs a lot of light because it's f14. So I open up actually the curtains here and let more light in and then using this Pavel tube to give it a nice little kicker. And the main light is gonna be the mix pad two from Nanlite to just as the main light. And this is on full blast because you need a lot of light for this. So this is gonna be the hero shot of the On The Rocks drink. And it's pretty simple. I just put it on the Lazy Susan and decorated it with a lime. And then just make sure there's enough uh, liquid in uh, in the glass and then just put ice cubes in the fake acrylic ice cubes and i also found this this looks kind of cool with the nice little stirring stick here i don't know what you call that in english but um yeah this just looks nice and then i sprayed it with that spray bottle to give it this cool look and then it's just two setups one where i see the whole thing and then just a closer one where i just want to have like a drop dripping down here on the side and I just sprayed it until like the drops run down here and it just makes it that cold cold look uh, that you want to go for in a cold drink uh, and then yeah just having the background nicely lit up and then just to highlight the drink a little bit more I just put up this small Nanlite Pebble tube here and just lit it from the top and yeah that's basically it uh, just making it look really good and this is going to be the ending shot of the first one and then there's going to be a second one where it's going to be a slushy version uh, but let's shoot that right now so the hero shot of the frozen version is a little bit more complicated uh, but not because of the shooting but because of the making i just have to get the consistency right and i think i have to like i have to freeze it and then it takes a long time and then it's so hot in here so it just melts really quickly so i have to be really quick when i'm shooting and I also have to like put it in a mixer because when I freeze it, the consistency is not right when I break it up. So I have to put it in a mixer and to get that really nice, like, you know, that smoothie look, uh, the slushy look. I don't know if you know that, how that looks. But yeah, I just wanted to get the amount right and everything. Just kind of top it off with a lime again. And yeah, just have to do it really quickly. Uh, I tried it one time and it was not good. So now I have to freeze it over and then wait again, I think a few hours until it's like, frozen again and then try it again and hopefully this time I get it right. So for the hero shot I actually prepared everything here on the mirror here with the uh, pink background and just staging everything up like the box where it comes at, a few packages, a package with the, where the powder comes out, then grapefruit and the drinks obviously and I just made it wanted to look a, little, a lot colder, so I put these splashes of water here and obviously sp spray the drinks. This drink is already cold because it's real ice. This 
is fake ice so i had to spray it a lot and it actually is really hot in here so uh, i had to constantly spray it that it still looks colder and then i just light it from with this small nanolite pablo tube just over top and yeah basically the background is lit at the same way it always is and then i'm just gonna drop a ice cube into the drink here to make it a little bit more interesting and to add a little bit of more movement otherwise it just looks like a photo if everything is just static and does not, not nothing does move and yeah this is the hero shot you want to present the drink in an environment where it's clearly visible and where the viewer pictures it and just a really pleasing way and i really accomplished that with like the setup here i also did some light sound design not too much just to emphasize the effects a little bit more like the squeezing and the dropping on of the ice cubes and i got all of that from artlist i just subscribed to their sound design pack and i think it's a pretty good option but sometimes i kind of find it hard to find the right effects there so i type in something and then all of a sudden there's like completely something different appears so you really have to think about like what you're going to type in and then you have to search for quite a while until you until you find the right effect and ultimately it's there but it just takes a while to find it and i wish they would improve their search kind of so you find the effects easier so that's it thanks so much for sticking around until the end of the video i hope you learned something today as always a free and easy way to support the channel is hit that like button and if you haven't subscribed you might consider doing so i'd really appreciate it if you have any questions shoot me a message on instagram at sepic cinema and i will see you in the next video